Hi guys, PJ here with another Fallout 76 video. Well, actually, this is a live video, so uh, this is a live stream that I'm basically going to chop up. And what we're doing today is having a look at the sound stage shelter that came with the latest season. Okay, so if you completed the season like I did a few weeks ago, you'll have this sound stage thing. Now, I got to the end of the season and with you know, a lot of Fallout players. I was ready for a break from it. I've been playing this from day one, so, you know, sort of done everything a million times, finished the season and put it down for a bit. So, let's go and into one of these shelters because I've got no billboards at all on that particular camp to be able to put this new shelter down and have a look at it. So, with that in mind, we're on a live server, not a private server, so that means <laughs> anything can and probably will happen. Now what I'm looking for is a somewhere like that to put a door. A lot of my shelters are on max build budget. I don't think this particular one is. Can't put it up there. I just need a flat surface to temporarily put it down. Um, see, a lot of these shelters, you build them when you first buy them, and then you forget about them. So you don't know what's in them half the time, especially if you're playing it on multiple platforms like I am. And I could put a door there and shift that box. Is there somewhere I haven't going to shift anything around though? That would be um, ideal. We've got space in the corner. No, no space. Okay. No space. I built this ages ago when it first came out. And um, I haven't visited it since, to be completely honest with you. What about up there? There's a wall. No, it's got something in the corner. I don't want to jig stuff around. just want to put it down and sort of let us have a look at it. Um put one there if I shifted those out of the way. Oh, I have revisited it then because that ammo box came in not too distant long ago. Uh, there's a door there already, I can't put it there. Anything here? No. I mean this particular shelter is um, the one that you can glitch your way into here and run around and get out a map and, and pillage all the bits that are everywhere. I've got a video on that guys if you want to know how to do it. So. Uh, yeah, you can get in there and take everything. Anyway, I digress, as so often do with this game, because it's so easy to digress in this game. I need a doorway area. Um, tell you what. There's looking prominent. Just temporarily. And then again, the atrium. I don't think I finished the atrium. I'll be able to put one in the atrium. So I've not seen this sound stage. I'm thinking cinema. Yeah, maybe a cinema bunker. Oh, there's a door there. I was able to put that there. Oh, well, I'll put it here. Just pop it down for now. So we need doors. Now, previous to the stream, I have gone in there and popped a couple of bits down just to sort of give an idea. But I am going to do a full build on this as a co-op stream with Jack's T72. We're both going to build the shelters live without looking at each other's and see what we both come up with. So that, that might be might be interesting. I don't know. We'll see. Quarters, server, silo, sound stage. Okay, let's pop. Can I get it there without moving everything? I want it in the corner nicely, but for now I'll just bang it down and I bet we haven't got the correct light to go above it of any kind because we have these which are nice but they didn't do a full set they only did a limited few of the things residential yeah no, there isn't one really suitable it's a bit of a shame we'd have to have like a an open and a, a red warding sign or something say it's Recording, if it's recording a, a set, you know, that type of thing. So let's go in and have a gander. I'll try and keep this pretty short, guys, you know, so uh, we go. So, like I say, I've been in already and popped down something, and I'll tell you why. So if, when you come in, you've got these, you know, you've got these lights, and uh, basically you can turn on, look at that quiet filming in progress. That's pretty cool, yeah? And then you've got your room lights. Boom, light the whole thing up, check that out. 
in the corners, in diagonal corners. Oh, I do like those. Look at that, the stairs are lit. That's cool. We've got these staircases. There's two of these, one in each diagonal corner. And it takes us up to this, I don't know what you could call it, um, viewing area. You know, you've got a balcony look. You could, you could view as if there was a live thing going on. Now, I was thinking there's loads of possibilities, but if you were a raider faction of some sort, Maybe you could have like a brawl going on in the middle, you know, a live cage fight. There's, a, there's like cage um, things that happen nowadays. You know, you've got like the cage wiring and it's for gardening and stuff like that. Maybe you could do that, you know, have like a cage fight area with some mannequins in it. I don't know. That could be a pretty cool thing to do. Uh, Jax is a raider faction. Uh, she's always been raider. So, I don't know, maybe she'd think of that. We'll have to see. I'm normally Brotherhood Faction. Well, I'm always Brotherhood Faction, to be honest. Uh, I've got Enclave Faction on one of the platforms, but still. Oh, we've got Power here. That's interesting. So, we can Power. Oh, there's Spotlights. Now, I've stuck a Dirty Great Wall in the way of that Spotlight, but... We get the gist. What we got down here? We got column lighting and some bits and bobs on the walls. How many of these spotlights is there? Just the one? No, there's one. Is it on? Yes, it's on. Right, okay. That's cool. So, anyway, the reason. Oh, that's a nice little balcony. The reason I did this, okay. This is a sound stage, but I'm thinking more along the lines of um, a movie prop place where, where they're making a movie, maybe. Like I say, we'll build this out and uh, we'll see what we come up with. But I was thinking originally to use the big signpost, the big sort of steel frame signpost as like a, a cinema screen and have curtains each side. But then when you see the size of the room, because it is rather large, maybe use a wall such as the cowboy wall yeah so if this was a film set and you were recording a film you could put some hay bales down and some mannequins in cowboy outfits that type of thing i don't know you know some flooring down so it doesn't look like concrete because that's obviously no good flooring in shelters is a pain in the neck but bearing in mind you could build it out as a tv set so probably wouldn't look out of place you know so that's one possibility you could have an active movie being made like a, a still from it do that or the other thing i was thinking like i was saying if i just quickly go across to miscellaneous structures i mean there's tons of stuff you could put in here you can put trees and shrubs and stuff everywhere you know you could really deck this out if you were doing the cowboy thing but you know you have a hot tub in here look because that's cowboy, you know, you, know, you could have a, I don't know, a saloon type thing, build something like that, I don't know, because you have got all this sort of jazz that you could do, you know, put the, the rest of the backing boards in and uh, maybe make a saloon. Is this one a saloon? Doctor. I'm sure we've got a saloon. We have got a saloon. Oh, Bethesda, that was such a loss. No saloon. <sighs> You'd have to build a saloon. Okay, but anyway, digressing again. If you if you pack the whole thing out, you know, with those boards. So if you did I mean there's loads of things you could do. We've already got a boxing ring uh, actual camp build, a gym. I built a gym, it's on some of my other videos. But again, you know, this might be an option. Put a load of stacked seating all the way around it. Big build budget on these uh, shelters. So we could go Let's have a look there. You know, if you got one of these, the blank one, there's quite a few of these. You, you could get a blank one of these. And I was thinking, use it as a cinema screen with a projector of some description, you know, and then maybe a booth up the other end for that, you know, like a proper cinema. And then the load of seating and aisles down the middle. But it's not big enough. I mean, look at the size of this place. It looks a bit small, maybe. I don't know. If you think of a cinema you, you got curtains each side and everything this thing's a bit small so hence this i mean you could use this as a cinema screen and try and get some sort of curtain affair going on 
around it maybe put it up on a little built up stage slightly so it's higher up and then get all your seating and all your mannequins and everything have a popcorn machine obviously in the corner you know or build an entrance area uh you know here with popcorn machine and some of the texture tickets texture money whatever you know but yeah it's a nice big area and like i say if you're going to do the raider fighting arena you know bare knuckle stuff because it's raider of course that that'd serve really well because there is i think we can build them just come out of build need to go back in build we go to walls quickly uh where is it there's like um you could use cells you could use this sort of thing for a fighting arena but i was thinking more along the lines i don't know if you can use them in here because it's sort of food orientated but there's the grow area ones now with the soil at the bottom probably can't use them in here actually got a lot of shelters you can't you with the shelters you can't use the water and the food stuff i don't know yeah you can't do it that's a shame can't do it so you would have to improvise um maybe use a mixture of metals you know and windows and cage things do it that way there is some half height ones of the cages so maybe you could do that um, there is a way you know you could definitely do it but you won't be able to put that many mannequins around as watching it you'd have to use the maybe I know I'm rambling here, guys. It's so easy to do with this game. Yeah, you want loads of these, but you can't. So you'd have to use the illuminated... Uh, all the clowns. Clowns, a bit weird, but you could use the clowns. But there's the illuminated. There's the clown. Not, you could use the clown. Um, you know, the guys, the super mutants and skellies that uh, are illuminated. See, that's too small. That's tiny. That's no good. Can't use that. These guys. Maybe you have some of these as your viewership. Oh, that's a point. Can you build on the. Oh, let's go and check this out. Can we build on those rackings? I do hope so. Should be able to. I mean, you can have hundreds of these things. So. Okay, so if this was a potential audience. Yeah. Oh, you can't build on it. Thank God for that. That would have been a bit of a disaster, wouldn't it? You could probably use these guys as... Um... Oh, we've got no power. Okay. Yeah, you could probably use them as the audience if you were doing a raider, raider thing. Yeah, they need to be illuminated. They're a bit dark. <laughs> That's possible. Okay, so, do I like it? well it was sort of free you know all the other reviews that i've done on shelters and stuff we've paid atoms for them and normally an awful lot of atoms so with that in mind yeah i do like it i think there's a lot of endless possibilities here to get building it's just a shame that basically the player base doesn't visit shelters unless it's a daily challenge of some sort and that's a shame because there's a lot of them kitted out and wasted i mean there's a lot that aren't you know got nothing in them at all but for me, yeah, this is a win, guys. So, like I say, I'll keep this short and sweet. But uh, get building. Come up with some cool ideas. That's a wrap. See you later, guys.